I saw this comment on Reddit stating that the source engine looking shitty is a feature now. I wanted to join in the conversation, but unfortunately the original comment was deleted, leaving me in the dark of what the discussion was actually about. But the response, zoom jet, put under the comment, kinda intrigued me. Is Source's outdated nature a feature now? Do modders choose Source for the only purpose of it looking old? Let's dive a bit deeper. This is TTT Shitpost Circle, a map I'm developing in the Gary's Mod branch of the engine for a group I'm in. I'm trying my best to make this map look as visually pleasing as possible, bumping up light map resolutions, using a buttload of decals to spice up the place, using props to fill up otherwise empty areas, and so on. But in Source, there is only so much you can do. There is no deep-coded dynamic lighting, no support for real-time reflections on surfaces, believe me, I tried, and no ambient occlusion, amongst other things. Does this immediately mean that Source being outdated is a feature? No, not really. I don't think that ugliness can be defined as a feature. You see, Source is a product of its time. Introduced back in 2004 with Counter-Strike Source, it showed what the engine could do with physics and higher definition lighting. Although CSS wasn't really the best game to show off Source's functions, together with all the trailers and demos we've been getting, it made people hyped for what to expect in Half-Life 2. And when it came out, it blew people's minds with its shader-based graphics, advanced physics and great facial animation. Since then, Source kind of evolved over time. Valve added HDR lighting, dynamic flashlight shadows, and eventually cascade shadow maps in Zetas Go. Sure, it has no chance standing against Unreal 4 or Unity 5, but Source is very modular. Developers could easily add in new features. Look at Black Mesa, for example. They put in dynamic shadows for inside and outside use, god rays, 4 away texture blending, and more. It makes the game look a bit more in line with current gen games. And then I haven't even talked about Titanfall 2, which uses the Source engine with a modified rendering pipeline and other enhancements. Also, I don't think they used Hammer for their levels, just making an assumption here. With Titanfall 2, you almost wouldn't say it was made in Source. But it was! And it makes me a little happy inside. And with that game on my mind, I came to my opinion. Source doesn't have to look ugly. Just like with anything in the right hands, Source could still bring you to extraordinary places, show you pretty things, or just make you feel like you're being followed. Besides, I think the word shitty Zoomjet used in their comment isn't really the right word to use here. I would say Source looks nostalgic. It reminds us of a simpler time, a time where you didn't have to create your own assets or buy some from an asset store, a time where you made intricate geometry only to make your shadows on the floor look neat, a time where boxy environments just did the trick, and a time where outside areas were treated the same as inside areas. So in short, Source doesn't look shitty necessarily, not in the right hands. It's the creator, the mapper or the programmer who can make it work. Work makes the dream work, or something like that. Oh, I can't sing. And seeing where Valve is headed, I think Source will be here for a while. At least until Source 2 comes around. Before I end this video, I just want to thank you all for all your support in my previous video. It's been unreal. Almost 2,000 views might not see much compared to other YouTubers. But everybody's gotta start somewhere, and I, I think this is the start of a nice relationship between us all. What do you think about Source? Still think it looks shitty? Are you with me on this one? Leave your opinion in the comments below. Don't worry, I don't bite. I will bite that idiot Logan Paul when I get the chance though. But it's not my job to punish him. YouTube, I'm looking at you. A time where you made int int intricate geometry? Why do I make it hard for myself?